see down here on the field the four men who have served as presidents at Flagler College since 1971, Dr. Bill Proctor, Dr. Bill Abair, Dr. Joe Joyner, and the Honorable John Delaney. Dave's been here long enough to have served under all of them, and uh, we really appreciate them being here. Several members of our Board of Trustees are here today. Mark Bailey, the Honorable Chuck Tillin, Brian Wilson, our Vice President for Marketing and Communications, Carol Branson, is here today. Another special guest who I'm going to save uh, introduction for later. But we're so thankful that everybody could be here. We're very grateful to Tina Barnett for being on the field with us and Coach Barnett, the man of the hour. So uh, I'd like to introduce uh, someone to make a couple of remarks on this very special day. Uh, he is the two-term mayor of Jacksonville long-time president at the University of North Florida before he got uh, called up to the big leagues at Flagler College in 2021, Mr. John Delaney. Coach's vision. 
A good leader always has vision. Vision for today and tomorrow, a year from now, 10 years from now, and beyond. So 27 years ago as a freshman, I was called into Coach Barnett's office, and he was so excited to show me this artist rendition of his vision for Flagler College Baseball. So I want to pause here and, and invite everybody, players on both sides, every one of you, to look where you're sitting. Look where you're standing, look at this field. Just take it all in. None of this was here when he showed me that artist rendition. None of it. We're living right now in a moment captured in that drawing 27 years ago. And it's absolutely remarkable. This is truly Coach Barnett's field of dreams. Now we all know it takes an army to pursue and achieve such a dream. He has an unbelievably supportive wife in Tina. Amazing children, Tyler, my good friend, Chelsea, who we all know missed time with dad while he was tending to the responsibilities of being coach. He was raised by incredible parents, his mother, Diane, here today at 90, rarely missing a game. Barnett's passion and love for his players 
51 have signed professional contracts to include three who were drafted in the top 10 rounds and three that have gone on to play in the major leagues. When Coach Barnett joined the college as head baseball coach in 1987, he also had many other roles. He was a teacher, had administrative functions, and in 1994 he was named as a full-time AD, and he served in that role for 15 years. Blackler officially became part of the NCAA in 2008, joined the Peach Bowl Conference in July of 2009, and immediately prior to this, President Amir advised Coach Barnett that he had to choose between being the AD or a coach. He chose his passion for the game, and that decision also led to the hiring of our amazing athletic director, Joe Davis. that you're the only coach who, during a confrontation with an umpire, gave him the ejection sign from the field, and the umpire paused, took off his gear, and with his head down, exited the field. <laughs> I just heard that story recently, and I understood that day that you served as a home base umpire the rest of the game. I'm glad you did that. And one of my father's favorite pastimes was and, and his role as a trustee was being here to watch your teams play. He absolutely loved him, loved you. I know that he's here in spirit with us. And while these staff to reflect the commitment and dedication of you and your players, it really is the lives that you have changed the most that also matters the most. Your mentorship of these boys becoming men has given them the building blocks and foundation for a successful future. And for that, we are forever grateful. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Flagler College, both past and present, we acknowledge and want to express our sincere appreciation and admiration to you and your entire family. Diane, Tina, Chelsea, and Tyler, thank you for sharing Dave with us for so many years. And Dave, please know that you may be stepping away from this role, but you will always be remembered for your success on and off the field. And as I mentioned to you before, you are a legend, a humble legend that will never be forgotten.
take you off your kind remarks, and some of those are true. <laughs> well, 37 years ago, I took over a young program at a young college. My goal at that time was to build on respect. And I wanted all the players to graduate and be proud to tell people they played baseball at Flagler College. And I feel we've done that with all these guys here today. Uh, many of the great players are here today. And I want you to say thank you. I want to say thank you for helping us accomplish this goal. All of you guys are class individuals. I'm more proud of you, what you do off the field now, than whatever you did on this diamond years and years ago. Please stand and be recognized, all the former players. cliche, find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Well, I found that at Flagler College. It's been a blessing working with many wonderful people through the years, the many assistant coaches we've had, the athletic administration, the presidents, the board of trustee members, and all the people in the community who have shown tremendous support of our baseball program through all the years. Our athletic program has made tremendous strides under the leadership of Judd Damon. I want to thank Judd for your guidance and support of our program and all the programs here at Flagler College. I must say I'm a bit, a bit overwhelmed by the people that are here today. Uh, I have high school classmates here today, if you'll raise your hand. And, uh, not to tip our age, but we'll have a 50-year reunion coming up next year. I even have two of, our, two of my high school football coaches that are here today. Thank you for coming. And, and Mark said that story about the umpire, and that's true. I did throw an umpire out one time. But I think we even have some umpires in attendance today, and I appreciate you coming. You know, I get, I'm getting asked a lot as, as the alumni came up to me and, you know, they asked me the question, what are you going to do after you retire? And my answer is, grow up. Because you think about it, I've played and coached baseball for 60 years. That means I've been able to put on a uniform and play and coach a kid's game for a long time. Just think about that. Baseball may, may be the only sport where a coach actually dresses in a uniform and gets to be a kid at heart and hang out with these, these big kids over here. And it's been, it's been remarkable. It's been, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I would not have been able to live out my passion for baseball and, and this profession if not for the support of my family. My mother is sitting right in her same seat she sat there for many years and is not only my fan, but Flagler College's baseball best fan. I love you, Mom. My two sisters, Debbie and Dina, are here today. In fact, it's my sister Debbie's birthday today. Happy birthday, Debbie. My children, Chelsea and Tyler, are also with us, and we have who have given us five beautiful grandchildren and they're running around here somewhere. Uh, we also have nephews and cousins here and uh, really thank you all for your love and for making this trip. Finally, the person who allowed me to coach all these years, my best friend and my beautiful wife, Tina. Just a small tidbit about my wife. She's been the rock of our family. She's raised our two children while I was gone for the first 16 weeks every single year. When you think about from January till whenever our season ends, it's usually 16 to 18 weeks. Then I'm off recruiting in the summer. I was also gone two summers for three months in Vermont coaching baseball while our kids were in high school. She wrote the checks, she paid all the bills, she managed to design and build the house we have lived in for over 20 years. She got things fixed when they were broke. She had dinner ready when I happened to be around. 
all while working as a hairstylist for 40 years and still working. There's a lot of people in the stands here that have their hair cut or styled or colored or permed by Tina that are here today. But she's more than just a hairstylist and they know this. She's a psychologist. <laughs> she's a psychologist for me because I bounce things off her about our team and she always has the right perspective and helps me. It's unbelievable. She's a savvy real estate investor and the best money manager I know. I remember a few years ago when I came home from practice and she said, honey, we just made our last house payment. And you know what I said? I gave her a high five. I said, you're the man. <laughs> and she has been the man. But any success I've had in coaching is a direct result of her love and support. And now it's time for me, honey, to grow up. And as I tell her, it will now be Tina time. She'll be the head coach. Here you go. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm a lucky man and I love you, baby. But thank you all. It, it means so much. I'm overwhelmed for everybody that showed up today. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. And I love every one of you. And, uh, hope to see you in retirement. Thank you. I guess I did. I guess I did. Oh, God. We're not done. Uh -oh. We're not done. Uh -oh. And at this, this time, time, Coach Barnett's current players would like to come forward and present a gift of their appreciation to Coach Barnett. Guys?
37 years, Coach Burnett. I had driven into the uh, entry road to come back here to the ball field and do his noble work. I'm pleased to announce today that the sign will be installed this summer. And from now on, when you drive into the Flagler College Athletics Complex, the road you'll be driving on will be Dave Barnett Way. <laughs> One important announcement till last. As we contemplated how to adequately recognize someone who's given so much to Flagler College, the athletics department, the baseball program, we arrived at an honor that I believe is fitting. In the entire life of the college, there has only been one statue at Flagler, that of Henry Flagler, her namesake. I announce today that there are going to be two, Henry Flagler and Dave Barnett. We are commissioning a life-size statue to be built and displayed prominently here at the Athletics Complex so that every fan, player, coach, and visitor will be filled upon entry. And Henry Flagler will be in good company with you. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy the game.